Naruto Chapter 2 Rant Review Thought. I don't even know what to call it because it isn't even a review and it's not a rant because I'm over it at this point, but I expected a retelling of the Boruto movie. I expected that. They started in Chapter 1. And I understood it. However, even with Dragon Ball Super, there were minor changes. Last week, the first four pages, not last week, last month, excuse me, we started out with like five pages of new content. That was good. We then, of course, switched over to the Boruto movie, but we even got that little extra bit with Moegi, Komahamaru's teammate, the girl on his team. Yeah, that girl. We got a little. We got a little bit with her and her Joe and her getting team. That was really good stuff. But this chapter, literally, the only difference between this chapter and the Boruto movie is that it's it's Dorada's outfit. That that the Dorada wearing a skirt. It's the only thing that is visually different about this plot. It be that same uh, outfit for all the other characters are the same. The only difference between this and the Boruto movie is that this is in manga form and the art looks like crap. That is the only difference. And it's just, it, it, it's really freaking sad because we're only like 30 minutes into the movie. And that is what Dragon Ball Super did right. When they were doing the retelling of the movies and the manga, they rushed it very quickly. They watched it very, very quickly. We were in the universe this dark by like chapter 7. I'm pretty sure by like chapter 7 we were already getting information about the universe this dark, about the new arc and super. But here, we're just like 7 chapters in, but this is like, at this rate, I would get it like 4 months until we get new material. The, at the end of Boruto chapter 2, we are only 30 minutes into the Boruto movie, which is sad. And then of course, the only change the author did make is Dorana's design with her outfit, which I don't like. The outfit she's wearing right now, just, it doesn't look like you can actually fight in it. I, I don't really get, it's so impractical, and, like, it's just so unintelligent to wear something like that into combat. It just blows me away. I guess you could say, oh, they're in time to pace, she probably didn't think she'll ever have to engage in combat. Well, yeah, I would buy that if both of her parents were ninjas, who would flat out tell her, no, you should always be prepared for battle. But that is beside the point. But yeah, besides for that, like her, literally, Dorada's outfit is the only thing that you can use to differentiate this chapter from the movie. I think it was Story of Seven Mage who said what they pretty much did was they took the storyboard for Boruto and made it into a manga. They took the storyboard and they made it into a manga. And the art is so bad, I wouldn't be surprised if they're actually legitimately just copying and pasting it on a computer and then printing it out. The art is just, it's so bad. The art is bad. Sasuke is still Professor Snape from Harry Potter. He still looks just like Professor Snape from Harry Potter with a Rinnegan. I do not know why. Oh, Sasuke still apparently had two Rinnegans. I don't, I don't know why that mistake is still being made. And there was a scene with uh, Sakura Serata. You know, but seeing where Serata pretty much hints that it's at their parents have been had, had a soccer with a lot happier than a soccer was in the village. Yeah, we all know what Serata was talking about, which I never did really like that day because Serata's like 12 and that is her mother. And it's really weird that Serata's making a sex joke about her own parents. But that is beside the point. The point is that. During that scene, I just looking at Sakura's freaking head, and I thought, and I actually thought it was an apple. I mean, it it it's shaped like an apple, and no human's head can be that small. I'm sorry, a head is not that damn small. That's not the way it works. Kishimoto's art is not hard to copy from what I've seen, and from my opinion, it shouldn't be hard to copy when you worked with him for years. Now, if you're just some guy trying to do it online, it's different. You're like a fan. But when you're actually working with him weekly, all week, and editing it, you would assume you could freaking draw. But you can't. The guy cannot draw Boruto at all. The only decent character to Boruto and Naruto, those still aren't very good. Now, what I do want to talk about is why this art bothered me so much. I can't accept the, the, editor, the editor not being able to draw Hinata. The fact that he got rid of Hinata boobs is just weird. I don't understand why Hinata boobs are just gone now. 
I don't know why, and it's pissing me off because it's not the fact that her boobs are gone, it's the fact that they're just not there, and it's the fact that there's no explanation given. You could come up with a really stupid explanation, it probably wouldn't make any realistic sense, but you could at least try to explain it. Maybe she did a gist do, and because of the side effects, her boobs disappeared. I don't know, but try to make it make in universe sense. That would be like if one if if Sake to start walking around and, and both of his arms were gone. Now he only now he had no arms, not not one arm, none. It'd be like that. You have to have a sense of consistency, and you can't just change something about a character. Now, another thing I want to talk about the art is that Hinata I can accept, Kiba I can accept, all these characters that didn't have a majority of screen time I can accept, but Kaka but Sakura. Sasuke, Kakashi, and Naruto. The four main characters who have appeared and been drawn by Kishimoto more than any other character in this damn series. Literally, these characters have been drawn more than anyone else. Especially Naruto and especially Sasuke. Kakashi and Sakura, maybe I could excuse it, but not these two. The, the, how off model, especially Sakura and Sasuke are. It's it, it mind blowing. Because the amount of art that must have had to have been editing with them in it. Like the amount of times he must have had to edit art from Kishimoto with Nar when Sake and Sake were in it. Like, it made Naruto it good. Probably because he was drawn so much. You have a tremendous amount of material to reference when you're drawing these characters. He even, and Hinata, you have a lot of material to reference when drawing Hinata. You have a lot of reference of how to draw these characters. The new generation character would be a completely different story. Any other character that wasn't a main character in a different story, but messing up on the main character that had been, been drawn by Kichimoto for 15 years is ridiculous. And you know what else is ridiculous? The fact that these characters look better in their first ever appearance. The first canon appearance of Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura all look better than this guy's art. That is sad. That is sad. Because you know what, Kichimoto's art wasn't the greatest, 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 greatest back, back, back in the day. But you know, it was still a hell of a lot better than this garbage that we're seeing. And it just, I was under belief that they would change things. I thought maybe during this chapter we'll, we'll skip through, we'll hurry on along to the villain, we'll get to the villain, and maybe the villain won't be Momoshiki and Kinshiki, maybe it will be... Kawaki, maybe he'll show up instead and Naruto will die in this very battle. Maybe our speculation, like how people were speculating in the Boruto movie Naruto would die. Maybe this is how Naruto and Sasuke die in the fight with Momoshiki, with Kawaki that takes place instead of the Momoshiki fight. But that then is that's probably not going to happen because it's clear that they're just going to retell the movie. Peace might be. There was like one panel. That was new, where, that was added on in this thing. Only one panel of new material, and it was actually just for a sex joke. That isn't actually even a sex joke, it's just Sakura responding in a resort to her daughter's joke, which is how she comments on how Sarada been in a lot better of the mood lately too, since Boruto agreed to sign into the tuning event. That's it, that's the only new shot in this theory. That was the only thing in this that got me, I was like, yeah, that's, that, that's new. Aside for that, there's nothing. There is absolutely nothing. And I'm actually starting, as I'm recording this, I'm actually remembering, I think Sakura's line of Serata may have been in the movie. So that may not, that, not even that, that could be old too. So this whole thing is just a rehash. It, it's really disappointing. Because even Dragon Ball Super did a better job than this. This is just bad writing, bad marketing, and bad storytelling. Maybe they're trying to drag it out until the anime ends, maybe, but that wouldn't make any damn sense. The Imperion had made it clear they're not ending the anime anytime soon. We are getting a, what, a Indra and Asura filler this week, which we should have gotten, you know, previously, of course, when we were getting the Kaguya stuff, we should have just gotten Hagoromo, Kaguya, Indra, Asura, Madara, Hajirama, Naruto, Sake, Murdo, Dorada, Kaku, and... Hinata, I don't know. Give us a feeling of Kaku and Hinata. I don't care. Just do it all at once and get it over with. The point is, in this series, they're killing it and they're milking it. They're milking it in the anime with filler and they're milking it in here. And I'm going to keep on reading it because it, 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 it doesn't take a lot out of me to read it. And I'll still do reviews of it. You know what? It's once a freaking month. It's one bad 
thing to read a month. And you know what? I will give it four more chapters. In four months, if we do not get new content after we're done rehashing the Boruto movie, if we don't get new good content right away, I am dropping this series because this is boring and this is ridiculous. I cannot promise I will review every one of these chapters, but I just, it just, it just, I'm just going to title this, like, Boruto Chapter 2 Rant. If you guys disagree with it, too bad. I, I, I mean, just, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but I don't understand how certain people are hyping this theory up. Oh, and you know, I didn't say it. I don't understand how people like Double for Anime are saying good things about this theory. But you know what? Anybody said something good about this can't clearly tell good from bad. Because this is terrible, terrible, terrible content. We're being serving shit. This is terrible material we are being serving. And it's very disappointing because I'm a big fan of Naruto. And I wasn't a big fan of the ending. But the Boruto movie looked really good. And it restored my faith in the theory. They made me think, maybe we can get some good quality Naruto content. But you know what? I That hope is slowly starting to die again. And I'm really unfortunate because Boruto, Naruto Gaiden. And even though I'm not the biggest fan of it, I just, just from what I've seen of it, Naruto the last is really damn good. It has a good structure. It's, a, it's not the greatest story, but you know what? It, it's way, I would rather watch the last than this. And I never, and I couldn't even finish the movie because I, I hated how much it, like, it went against my canon of the manga. But it's still better than this. If I had to rate this chapter, I would give it a, I would give it a negative 200 out of 10. Screw it. I don't care. This chapter with pure other crap. But guys, I do not hope you enjoy, I don't, I hope you did not enjoy this video. But you think it was a rant. You're not supposed to enjoy it. Well, maybe you are. Maybe you enjoy listening to me. Rant about Boruto for like 12 damn minutes. But whatever. I have something I want to go do now. Something actually that's actually more important than talking about how crappy the chapter was. So I'm going to go do that. Like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Hopefully, within the next four months, we can get something that is at least readable and standable. But whatever. Screw the Boruto manga and screw this stupid act rehash.